That's the most important thing. I don't know how you go. It's just you jump the same every time. When I first heard about this place, I thought maybe they can help me with my lifelong goal of dunking a basketball, but that's just not. Pretty much everyone here can already dunk. <laughs> we, don't, we don't see a lot of um, people that are into casual general fitness like yourself or me. We really center on people whose career aspirations lie in So you're a doctor, and you take the healthiest people, the athletes, and make them the best athletes in, in the planet. Like myself when I tried it out. I'm gonna turn on our force player here. How did you come to the force plate? Anytime you know, an athlete moves, it generally can be boiled down into their interaction with the ground. So the force plate really analyzes that pushing force. And so we've built up a, a massive database of force plate assessments and we're able to cross that against injuries, um, minutes played in basketball, snaps taken in football. So your assessment, right Jim, is this far right hand one. What we're looking at is three variables. So we have load, explode, and drive. This gray variable, load, is the movement downward. Right? It's your ability to develop force. Explode is the pause between downward and upward movement. Last variable is drive. I'm sure you can guess the movement upward. Now for you, based on the numbers we see here, you have a poor interaction with gravity for two reasons. You're not above 45, right? And you're not within 15 for all your variables because there's pieces missing in our force time curve. We got information on you as an athlete. Now I need to show you what action plan you need to take to ensure that you can improve that variable or grouping of variables. All right, let's throw a couple of these reds on there. Well, I mean, I was gonna say warm up first. Good, drive back up. Give me four more just like that. You kind of had some frustration earlier on in your career as a coach with outcomes being judged based on wins and losses. Yeah, yeah I think you ultimately want to measure not just the, the result, but the process. So that's where, again, where technology comes in is if you are tracking those, you're not always tied to wins and losses. All I want you to do is when you sink down, you throw your arms back, throw your leg back, take off left side, land on right. So we're here, jump out, stick and hold. Sorry, I went a little farther than you did. No, you <laughs> You're reaching for better data as opposed to an end point like getting my vertical actually higher. We're looking at the content of your vertical jump, not just your vertical jump. So whereas other places are like, oh, I want to you know, get you from a 36-inch vertical to a 39-inch vertical. Yeah. It's like, well, you know, we can look at that and then also see how you're producing force to address inefficiencies. The name Sparta is actually from Spartan. Yes. Uh, we, short, we just lopped the end off to make it more um, I guess meaningful and or easier for people to remember, but ultimately it does come down to simplicity. It'd be funny if they were playing like Rod Stewart or something in here. I don't like Rod Stewart, I just think it would be funny. Yeah. 